Today is March 28th, 2022. And this is the rising sun in Nassau, Bahamas. It's doing something is happening here. See that? You see, you can see the background now. Something is happening. It is 7.30 in the morning. Look, look. Look. Like the earth shaking. You cannot see the background of It's been happening very, very frequent. Let's look at stuff. The rising sun in Nassau Bahamas, not only is it rising, it is shaking. It is shaking.
You see what happened in a couple of seconds? The sky was clear. And now this clear cl um, sky, these clouds are coming in. God is shaking the heavens and the earth. You all see it for yourself? See it for yourself? This is Nassau, Bahamas. I have videos. The moon is shaking. People are shaking. People buildings are shaking. Something happening. Something is happening. Whoa, whoa. He sent warning after warning after warning. Nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to see the videos. Everybody reject every word he sent. So you can't say you wasn't warned. Because he sent his warning. Like his words say, you refuse to obey. You simply refuse to obey. See? See the line like disappear and it's coming back? It's coming back full force.
Well, one thing I could say is the word of God tell us that he's going to shake the earth and shake the heavens. He tell us this. So now I come to the back of the yard. I walk to the back of the yard. And I come back to the front, and this is what we have at the front of the yard. Again, a minute ago, it was something different. People, repent. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. <laughs> I do not take the Gospels, the Word of God, lightly. Those words are living, they are alive. And they will perform that what God has purposed them that word to do. It will do it. The word is alive and living. I will not come against it. God has been warning us and warning us and warning us. Watch, watch and see what happens before your very eyes. He said, he has come into the worldly light. All the light around you is Jesus. Every light, you see what happened I'm just holding the phone. That's all I'm doing, holding the phone. You see how the sky change? Look, look, look. Look like it wanna shake again. You know, when I get up in the morning, I have no idea how my day is going to go. None. I just do as I'm told.
for doers I'm led. I said, what happened, happened. Now I come back to the back of the yard again. Something is happening now. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. This gospel must reach the whole world. For I say he will indeed dwell upon the earth. He will indeed dwell upon the earth. Can you imagine the whole earth shaking and everything in it? Let's catch a picture of this um, aircraft. So you'll know, but always look, look at the hand outstretch. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Look, outstretch from the heavens, through the sun to earth. And there's a cross. There's a cross. That old rugged cross. People, all I could say is a simple, what God asks us to do is so simple. Repent. That's it. Repent. Repent. Come unto him. Repent.
something happen, something happen, and something is happening. This is the rising sun in Nassau, Bahamas. March. Okay, this is You Are Called and Chosen by God, Prophetess Dr. Maddie Norwich. Let's see what she have to say. You see the light on now? And what's that coming down on her lightning? The kingdom, the kingdoms of this earth versus the kingdom of God. This is what's happening here. This is the false prophet in Ezekiel 13. She has fulfilled that prophecy. Ezekiel chapter 13. She has fulfilled that prophecy. John chapter 12. John chapter 12 verse 46. I am come a light. What? I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. 47. If any man hear my mouth, hear my words, and believe not, I judge him not. For I am come not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejected me, and receiveth not my words, had one that judged him. The words that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day, in the last day which we are in. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak there. For even as the Father said unto me, so I speak, so I do when I read the word. 35, then Jesus said unto them, Get a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. 36, while ye have light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of light. These things spoke Jesus and departed and did hid himself from them. John chapter 8, verse 12. And then Jesus, then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. But he but shall have the light of life. Okay, let's listen to a little bit of what she has to say. As you could see the the energy wave is flying. It's passing on. Now let's hear a little what she has to say about this message. Boy, look at my voice. 
Yes. Not take it by weak. Amen. How? By force. By force. And suffering violence. So I must take it violently. Yes. By force. Amen. Amen. I must take back everything. Yes. By force. Amen. I ain't dead yet. Ain't about to dead. Amen. Hey, watch it now. You're talking. Take it by force. Yes. Hey, amen. Something didn't work out in your early season. Let God bless you in your new season. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? You're talking, prophet. Talking to everybody. Please, I know I want. I know what I want to say, but I just don't. Amen. I just want to say, just trust God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Yes. Come on, man. Let me If I don't preach the gospel to you, you just feel like it's over. Oh it's over now. No, you just got to know that there are some things that's worth fighting for. Yes. There are some blessings Hallelujah. that has your name on it that are locked in dungeons Woo! and locked in cage. Oh Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible said, as I get ready to close, in the book of Judges, there was a man by the name of Gideon. Yes. Come on. You hear what she say? She's not about to die. And she taken it by force. This is a spiritual battle. This kingdom against kingdom. You hear it out the woman mouth yourself. Now listen. What God say. About. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Verse 34. Let your women keep silent in the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are com commanded to be under obedience. As also said the law so that tells you that who this is talking to you all this is like how satan um put his spirit into the snake and speak to eve here we have it once again once again let your women keep silent so who this is look how she look at this look what happened in here God say heaven and earth will pass away, but not his word. Not his word. This is not happening in the TV. It's only happening. The shaking is only happening in my phone. You hear what she's saying? She is, she's not going to die. She have all y'all believing that she's from God. God say, so does it speaking to y'all in this church? Because it surely ain't. God said, let the women stay silent. Look, 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 look. This woman have absolutely no fear of God, none. None. Kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom of the earth against the kingdom of God. This is what you cannot see. This is worse than Putin because at least you could see King, um, Putin go into war, but you cannot see the spiritual war. She's out the, biz out the business of our father, Satan. See how it jump in? I ain't doing that. You see it out in the sky yourself. And this wall, this wall that she built with these flags on it from all around the world is another wall on the other side that she has the flags um, flying on. God, I'm going to show you in Ezekiel where God said he's going to break down the wall. Um, she have something she did terrible to this with this wall. She dedicated this wall to Satan. And she has children and people going out there bowing and praying to this wall. That's why God is going to break the wall down. Like Nebuchadnezzar. See the wall there? See the wall? See the wall? She have people going praying to this wall. Praying every day 12 o'clock. This is Ezekiel 13 and I'm going to read at verse 10. Because even because they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, others stopped it with untempted mortar. 13, 13. Therefore thus said the Lord, I will, the Lord God, I will even rend, a, rend it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there 
shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. 14. So will I break down the wall that he have daubed with untempered mortar, and, that, and so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered, and it shall fall, and it shall be consumed in the midst of thereof, and he shall know that I am the Lord. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall, and upon them that have daubed it with untempered mortar, and will say unto you, There is no more, neither they that daub it, See it here, and I'll take you the word of God and show you. Um, mystery of the dream pillow, prophetess Maddie Norwich. See the pillow there? That's one of them. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of running. I'm tired of running. I'm tired of running. I'm tired of being accused. I'm tired of being accused. I'm tired of being rejected. I'm tired of being rejected. I'm tired of can't sleep. I'm tired of not sleeping. I'm tired of can't find a place. I'm tired of not finding a place. I need rest. 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 So when you look on the pillow, the words say dream and rest. Come on, somebody. I need God to talk to me. I need God to say something prophetic. See the pillar on the arm. See the pillar on the arm. See the pillar, the Bible says, on the arm. See the pillar on the arm. I'm tired of can't sleep. I'm tired of not sleeping. I'm tired of can't find a place. I'm tired of not finding a place. I need rest. I need rest. You're going to get it. I need rest. I need rest. I need rest. So when you look on the pillow, the words say dream and rest. Come on, somebody. I need God to talk to me. I need God to say something prophetic. I need to go to sleep in peace and harmony, not a man in fury and misery. My God. Hallelujah. Verse 28. He only laid there to rest. He was tired. There's a demon that will bring you into a spirit of weariness. There's something at the pillow for the first time, like, whoa, I didn't realize all of this was right there. Amen. It's right there. I'm preaching from the pillow. These Genesis pillars? Ah. Uh. Praise God. Choke up, rose up early in the morning. Praise God. Amen. And put for his head a pillow. His place on the stool. A pillow. And set it up as a pillar. Praise God. Amen. Upon. These pillars are $50 and 70 some dollars. I paid $50 each for mine. I had two. And when God showed me this word, I burned them up. He told me to put them on the line for seven days. I did that and I, I burned them up. I burned them up. Everything that I have belonged to any man, what they created, I burned it up. God said he sent his only begotten son. And we are healed by his stripes. Ezekiel 13, verse 17. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of the people which prophesy out of their own hearts, and prophesy thou against them. And say, thus said the Lord God, woe to the women that sow pillows to all armholes and make kerchief upon the heads of every statue to hunt souls. Will he hunt the souls of my people and will he save the souls alive that come unto you? The flags on the wall represent the souls from people country in the spiritual world. The flags are the kerchief, the kerchief in the, in the, in the, on the wall. Our people's souls from different who represent people countries, the countries of, our, of, of different nations. So is this word alive and living? Is this word alive and living? Did she fulfill this prophecy with that wall and these pillars? This prophecy is 594 years before the birth of Christ. This, other, this also is another legal document. Let's go. Here, this me, Pandora store. She sent this to me, warning me if I don't stop um, delivering the prophecy to her. See the prophecy? She have it written right down here. 
Ezekiel 13, 1 to 23. See, she have just a legal document. She sent with the authorities to me, warning me. And um, she tell people to bring their prayer requests to her. To bring their prayer requests to her. And she's going to take it to the high court. See, pillars again. She can take it to the high court, which is God. But if you're a prophetess and you're a true prophetess, why would you take me when I deliver the prophecy to you? Why would you take me to the local courts? And see my name there? That's me. You cannot, you cannot hide from God. You cannot hide. There's no hiding place. This is worse than Putin, because at least you see what he's doing. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 32. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, said the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their likeness. Yet I send them not or commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, said the Lord. Jeremiah 24. Verse 7, and this is what God said he's going to do to give the people. And I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. For they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Some people wave in the pillars. See she, all this dumbness she's teach people. Matthew 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders inasmuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. 25. Behold, I have told you before. 26. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in this desert, or go forth. Behold, he is in the secret chamber. Believe not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shined even into the west, so shall also be also, also the coming of the Son of Man. He is coming as lightning, light. The living word, this word has been prevailed. This prophecy has been prevailed. You see it for yourself. Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. Father, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven.